Hello, everybody. It is April the 1st. It's April Fool's Day, 2021, and it's time for another episode of AMA Air. Coming up today, it's National Volunteer Month, and we're going to tell you about how you can volunteer in the hobby. We're also going to take a look at the solar system and find out what's cooking on Mars. And we're going to tell you all about April's Club of the Month right here, coming up today on AMA Air. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of AMA Air. My name is Matt Ruddick. And hey, if you guys look over to my right over here, we've got a, another new co-host. It's Lee Ray from the RC Roundtable. Hello, Lee. Hello, Matt. How are you today? I am doing great. I hope you're doing great as well. I am. I'm in my uh, workshop, so I'm in heaven. There you go. Exactly. I mean, what better place is there to be? Um, you know, there's a, uh, I introduced you as being, you know, one of the hosts of the RC round table, but there's a really special reason why we've got you on the show today. And I was hoping you might tell people a little bit about why that is. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> this is April <laughs> fools. You just said you wanted me on the show. That's all. No, <laughs> what, what Matt is alluding to is if you haven't uh, seen it on social media or, or on the RC round table podcast, I am the uh, new AMA social media manager. And I'm very excited to be here, guys. Well, we are really excited to have you here. And this is not an uh, April Fool's joke, people, by the way. This is, this is real. Uh, <laughs> we're, uh, but we're super excited to have Lee join us on the team. And uh, you've got so much you get to bring to the table. Um, why don't you tell folks a little bit of who maybe they don't know much about you, a little bit about you and your history and, uh, and how, you know, how long you've been involved in air modeling? Who, who is Lee Ray? Um, <laughs> well, uh, I am a true hobbyist. Now, that doesn't mean I'm like very knowledgeable in the hobby or I've got a lot of cool planes or I'm very skilled. It just means I love this hobby. I've been a hobbyist since I was a little kid. Uh, my dad is the one who got me started. He was building odd objects and flying U-Control um, when I was a little lad. And he also started getting into RC. And eventually my dad and I, we had our own hobby room in our house. And that's how I did it. He got us signed up with the AMA when I was, uh, I don't know, probably eight or nine. So we both have five digit numbers, which I hold dear to me. I would, you know, that whole changing the name thing. I, I can't do that because the number is special to me. It's kind of like my kids' yeah. AMA numbers because they are are consecutive, just like mine and my dad's. Uh, but it's it's been great. I, I just love it so much. And I think uh, what's special to me about the hobby is that all my fondest memories are hanging out with my dad, either building or flying. And even those bad days when we forgot the transmitters, you know, you've been there. <laughs> when you, oh, you go yes, all that way to go fly and you forget your transmitters. <laughs> I still remember them because I'm sure we chuckled about it later. And then the next time we were like, you know, teasing each other. But I have, uh, I've enjoyed it very much. Uh, always had a hobby room. I'm very blessed to have what you see behind you is a custom built hobby shop for me and my boys. And, uh, you know, at an AMA event, a sanctioned event, I met two of my close buddies, uh, Terry Dunn and Fitz Walker. And one day while we were just chatting away with each other, we decided, how about we do a podcast? So we've been doing the RC Roundtable podcast for the past five years, having a great time visiting with people and just, you know, chilling. It's just a relaxed conversation between three guys having fun. We bring in guests like you do on AMA Air and, you know, share the love of model aviation. Well, like I said before, I, I am so excited to have you as part of the team. Uh, you know, the amount of knowledge and, uh, and frankly, respect that you, you have within the hobby, I think is going to bring a lot uh, to your new role here at the AMA as social media manager. And you guys are going to be interacting with, with Lee a lot on, you know, on our <laughs> iFly AMA Facebook group and, and our Facebook page and Twitter and all of our <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, and I'm still still learning the ropes, folks. I mean, uh, I'll tell you, it is a very difficult job. I'm eager to to be here. And, you know, as a member, I know what I want to hear. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, now that I've worked with the AMA for the past two weeks, 
I feel like I've only skimmed the surface of what the AMA is doing. And I'll just entertain you with the fact that I met with the people who run the museum and I am totally blind to what the museum has to offer. And I had a wonderful conversation with Michael who runs the museum on a, on an odd topic, just some product that's in there. And we just kept it running. And I love that. And I even told him, I said, this should be a social media post, this little transaction we had. So we can share that with other AMA members. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really excited to see what all you do with uh, with you know all the all the amazing stuff they have over in the uh, in the museum. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, featuring Michael on our uh, AMA podcast as well, uh, much more regularly moving forward and and telling some of the cool stories they have to tell over there because there's just so much to talk about uh, with the with the countless artifacts and, and objects that they have uh, in that museum. So I'm, I'm excited. I think there's so much cool stuff going on. And uh, again, so excited to have you as part of the team and also very excited to have you here as a guest host on AMA air. Um, we've got a ton of stuff to get to. How about we jump I got right my into notes? It, I mean, I know you guys already, you got me working. So I was like, Oh my God, I better do this right. Or I'm going to be a terrible social media manager. No, I want to, <laughs> I want to share this with your, your, your viewers. So yeah, let's, let's get started. Let's jump into it. So first things first, uh, we want to talk about April. Now, April, it starts today. It's April 1st. It's April Fool's Day. But there's something else that goes on during the month of April. It's National Volunteer Month. And there's no question about it that the hobby of model aviation has an incredibly strong foundation in volunteerism. It has for decades at this point. And um, we really want to take the month of April to help celebrate uh, our volunteers and, and talk about what it means to volunteer within our, within our hobby. And uh, we've got a really cool little thing we're going to, we're going to try out and Lee, you're kind of helping spearhead a little bit of this. I'd love it if you talk about it for just a second. <laughs> well, I just learned about it yesterday too, Matt. So, <laughs> but I think, <laughs> I think it is a great idea. And uh, I'm, I know that we, we've talked about this earlier about, you know, volunteer you know, moments. And I love to share some of mine in a second but we're going to start a social media post with hashtag I volunteer AMA. And we're going to gather all these stories, whether they're your own, or if you want to give a shout out to someone in your club or someone you know who does amazing volunteer work, or maybe even someone who's gotten you to start volunteering. You know, maybe some event that you've been to that you go, wow, I think I should volunteer. And that person's come up to you and said, oh my gosh, we need more people. So, you know, join right in. So we'd love to hear your stories. So we'll post them on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so forth. If you guys have something, put that hashtag in there. We'll, we'll get them all together and then we'll start sharing those stories with others. Yeah. And in fact, we've, uh, we'll, we'll share a few of those as we get them on the next episode of AMA Air. Um, I, I'm really excited to see what kind of cool stuff you guys, uh, what stories you guys have to share with us. Um, you know, volunteering, like I mentioned, it's such a huge part of our hobby. And some folks, they may not necessarily know, like, well, what can I do? How can I volunteer? There's so many ways you can volunteer. Um Lee, you talked a, a little bit. Of, we talked off the off offline a little bit about some of the cool ways that uh, you've seen people volunteer. I mean, you've done a lot of volunteering yourself, haven't you? I have, but I'm going to uh, address one in particular. Our good friend Tom Blakeney, who runs Thunderbeer, Thunderbird Field in Fort Worth, he runs. I'm going to say he runs it. I think he's in charge because I, I watched him work. I watched him volunteer, but he runs SAE Aero Design when it comes to Texas. And I don't have all the details. And I know that with COVID and uh, the pandemic, it may or may not have been staying on schedule. But I was able to volunteer with my good friends, Terry and Fitz. And I we may have a photo here in our lovely, attractive vests. But this was a fun event. I mean, I could take this entire show away from you, Matt, and tell you about SAE Aero Design. Uh, I'll try not to. You just might have to wave me down or cut my mic. Uh, but SAE Aero Design is amazing. Uh, I'll just give you guys a quick, uh, again, I have my notes. I'm not ashamed to have notes, guys. Uh, but uh, SAE Aero Design, also called the SAE Aero Design Collegiate Design Series, is a series of competitive mechanical engineering events held in the United States and Brazil every year. It is conducted by the SAE International and is divided into three categories, regular class, advanced, uh, excuse me, regular class, advanced class, and micro class. I'm going to add in there questionable 
aircraft because that ab absolutely is a class <laughs> when you go to an SAE event. Uh, you you hope and pray that these kids can build stuff and and they can be flown uh, at the event. And thank you. There's the the website for SAE Aero Design. But again, there are some fun stuff. RC Roundtable posted a video that's on YouTube, and I think we have an article that's on our Facebook page. But guys, this is an excellent, excellent volunteer option if you want to do something that's fun and interactive and you get to help or guide some of these young kids, oh, young adults, actually, uh, to help them with their, their aircraft. But I will tell you, some of them do not need any help. I mean, there were, are, were some spectacular models there that were way advanced than me. I think I was the one who learned something. But if you again, if you want to participate, that is an event you want to put on your calendar and go out and watch and, and wear one of those fancy yellow vests because you too could look like that when you hear someone <laughs> yell, heads up! <laughs> and you all duck for cover. I can tell you, I know Terry and Fitz all have story, both have stories on dodging and you know eluding the aircraft. Uh, because, <laughs> again, a wonderful time, and I certainly hope. And I'm just going to little tag for the guys who participate. I hope every one of those who registers and and competes it has some great career in aviation. They, it's amazing. It's, it really is such an amazing event and such a, a great way to kind of give back if you go and, and help those guys out and volunteer for that event. Um, you know, another way you guys can volunteer is uh, this summer we have the National Air Modeling Championships. It happens every year here in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, and uh, as we also have a couple events that are off uh, in, in other locations, but uh, you can volunteer for the Nats, and it's such a great way to, you know, maybe you want to be involved in competitions, but maybe you don't feel like you want to necessarily compete yet. Maybe you don't feel like you've got the chops yet, but you want to go see what it's all about. But you want to be involved, too. Well, volunteering is a great way to do that. You can learn more uh, go, by going to modelaircraft.org slash Nats. That's going on all during the summer. Uh, so there's there's time, you know, all through the summer, you guys can come out and volunteer. Uh, if you want to uh, find out more about how you can volunteer, you can email uh, Yolanda Jones here at the AMA, Yolanda J at modelaircraft.org. She's uh, heading up the Nats and she can give you more information on how you can become a volunteer. It's a great, it's a great way, like I said, to get involved in, in some of the competition aspects that we have going on here at the AMA. I'm going to sneak in with that last photo. We mentioned Nats, but do you see those Boy Scouts? They are the volunteers. So if you have yes. a local Boy Scout uh, troop in your area, that is another great way to volunteer. I'll tell you that uh, at our club, we had a model rocket event with uh, Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts, and I volunteered to run that event. So it's not just model airplanes, too. It can be rockets, but find out what you can do for your local Boy Scout troop. Absolutely. Now, there's another huge event that goes on every year that uh, you can help volunteer huge. with. I mean, it's is it that, is it that it's, big? <laughs> it's, I mean, I don't know. It, it, I guess it's all perspective, right? But it, uh, I think it happens up north. Lee, do you know a little bit about that one? Uh, Air and B, bear, bear, something cool. Airplanes, airplanes galore. No, Air Venture. That's it. <laughs> well, for those of you who know the play, most people call it Oshkosh. If you've just, are you familiar with it? But Air Venture is the name of it. And I, guys, I'm going to sneak in here and take over the show for Matt. Sorry, but 2017 on my bucket list was Air Venture. Uh, I've always wanted to go, always wanted to go. My, my wonderful wife allowed me to pack up my truck, drive up to Wisconsin, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, camp there for a whole week and experience the amazing joy of air venture. And what I'm going to allude to now with volunteering is that they always need volunteers to help at Oshkosh because people like me have no idea what's going on. They, they go there with a million people scattered about and you're lost and you need help. And there are people who ride the trams. And I want to give a great shout out to my buddy Ross, who's a docent for the antique or vintage aircraft. He basically does a little tour, a free tour people where they take you around all the vintage aircraft. It's a nice 20 minute drive, I guess. And he knows every aircraft. And it's just amazing that there are volunteers like that that just go every year to volunteer their time because it's a passion. And speaking of air venture and passion, when I went, I had learned from the AMA, they were doing a little shout out because is there anybody who could volunteer time to run the AMA booth? They have a nice little uh, RC uh, 
truck, I guess. What do you call it? What do you, what is the official word for it? That's, Matt? Our, that's our, that's our trailer. That's our model aviation experience trailer. <laughs> trailer. Come, come, come kids. Let's go play in the trailer. Uh, our, our <laughs> RC flight simulator trailer. It's beautiful. They got big tents out there, but I, I want to you know, do a shout out because I got to sit there with these guys and talk and boy i'll tell you it was fun where we had people just come up and say what's the ama all about we started talking uh, i'll tell you i had an faa talk with one guy and that lasted for a good 20 minutes but you know what we shook hands afterwards i really felt like he appreciated the effort i made to to sit out there and volunteer and we had a great time so i know the ama is going to request soon for people to volunteer at the trailer, uh, their time. And I will be there. This is so cool. I am planning a trip back to air venture with my family. We're driving up and, uh, it's going to be a heck of a time. I can't wait. And my boys who are AMA members will also volunteer. And we will also be heading out to the museum where they have kid venture. I'm not sure how much we want to talk about that. You know, let, let Matt have the reins back to the show, but kid venture, <laughs> is amazing. So I'm really, this is a little sell, a promo for Air Venture. If you have never been there, you really should consider it. And if you have kids, guess what? This year, Air Venture is free to kids. Let me say that again. It's free to kids this year. That is actually news to me. That's amazing. Um, you know, it, seriously, guys, if you have, obviously you have interest in aviation if you're watching this show. So it, because you do, and if you've never had the chance to go to Air Venture, I would put that on your list. It is an amazing event with, uh, I mean, thousands upon thousands of aircraft there that you get to see um, air shows. Um, I, I know they, I know they typically do like uh, uh, rides in their four tri motors and, and stuff like that. I mean, there's just so much there to do. Um, I got to I got to chime in my buddy, George. Yeah. I love my friend, George. He's a fellow Texan and George, darn you. I was going to jump on that later in the show, but you jumped the gun and my, our buddy Dylan had to post it, but George is so right. And I'll just think we'll squeeze it in right now. Cause why not? Uh, Matt's just going to have to sit there and let Lee go. Uh, the AMA national flying is at the same time as air venture. So this is, I was saving this George, but you can fly model airplanes at Air Venture at the EAA Museum. You can fly model airplanes. I didn't give a photo of me flying. I was so elated being able to go there and fly one of my planes called a Thunder and Lightning. But I got to fly there with all these other people, model airplanes, and it was a blast. And I am so looking forward to celebrating the National Fly-In with my boys at the EAA Museum while Kid Venture is going on in one side and you have all these museum aircraft that are brought out to the tarmac for display. It is just mind blowing. It's just, it's a euphoria of airplanes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is, it is an, uh, an experience like no other. Uh, again, if you've not been able to go there to check that out, I encourage you to do so. However, if uh, you don't want to make the trek all the way up to Oshkosh, uh, we also have an event going on, as we mentioned, uh, on uh, that same weekend here in Muncie. The National Fun Fly is going on. Uh, you can learn more about that at modelaircraft.org slash funfly. That's July 30th through August 1st. And you can volunteer uh, for that event as well if you would like to do so. You can email nationalfunfly at modelaircraft.org uh, to get information on how you can become a volunteer and help out at that event. Um, there's just opportunities all over the place. These are just a few. There's certainly not an, the the entire list. Uh, there are going to be events in your area as well uh, where you can learn or where you can go and volunteer and offer your services, you know, whatever it is you're good at. Maybe you're really good at helping people rebuild their airplanes or, or fix little things here and there. Maybe, maybe you're a really good photographer like Lee and you want to go out and take some pictures for your local club. That's a way you can volunteer and, and offer some, some cool thing that you have, you're really good at. You can offer that to them as well. And so, you know, we have a hashtag right now called, Hashtag I fly AMA. So if you take photos of an event and it's you know really cool, something that we're not familiar with, but put them in our gallery. I, a lot of people love the chatter in the yeah. I fly AMA group on Facebook. Absolutely. So again, April is National Volunteer Month. We're going to be talking about this all throughout the month of, of April. So uh, be sure to use that hashtag we mentioned earlier with uh, I volunteer AMA and uh, get those stories out to us. Again, we're going to be talking about it all month. But uh, let's switch gears for a, a minute, Lee, and talk about something else that you and I are both incredibly passionate about. Um, 
get you our guys, nerd, nerd hats on. <laughs> oh man, let me get get my nerd hat. It's yeah. might be made out of tin foil. I can't say that for sure for <laughs> certainty, but uh, so I, just, some I'm of gonna the, chat, George. I know it's 400 miles to Oshkosh. We're this <laughs> we're the we're the Oshkosh remote chapter of the fun that's fly. Right. So that's what that's I'm right. saying. I was like, I'm gonna have a little group of AMA members who are you know representing the fun fly. <laughs> hey, 400 miles is a long way too. Uh, so let's uh, let's switch gears here and talk about. You guys may have seen some some stuff in the news over the last uh, month or two, where there's a brand new uh, rover that has been landed on the surface of Mars. NASA put up this this new rover. Uh, the name of the rover is Lee Perseverance. Perseverance. Thank you very much. So what's That's really special, <laughs> what's really special about Perseverance is there is something on board called Ingenuity. And you see a picture of it right there. As let's be honest, guys, this is an RC helicopter that they have landed. Uh, they've, they've attached to this rover and landed on the surface of Mars. Well, here's what's even cooler about it is there is an AMA connection uh, to this uh, ingenuity helicopter. And that is the fact that we have a, uh, an AMA member, uh, by the name of Matt Keenan. He is from, he is the president actually of the semi indoor flyers out in semi Valley, California. Um, he and some fellow club members were actually on the team that helped build ingenuity, uh, with NASA's JPL, uh, lab out there and there you, you can see they carved their pictures. name somewhere you know or got a sharpie i, hope, I <laughs> hope so gosh i hope so i, I like, would have <laughs> oh man i mean how could you not at least put your initials somewhere like on the belly i don't know um but we want to we want to offer a huge congratulations to matt and and the members of his club that were were on, on that team to help build ingenuity when i found this out like i was already excited about this i know you were too when I found this out, I mean, my excitement level went from about a 10 to a probably a 50. Um, it's just such a cool story. Um, we're, we're hoping to uh, have a little bit more detailed story that's going to come out in uh, possibly in Model Aviation Magazine in the, in the coming months. Um, but uh, yeah, Matt is the president of the Semi Indoor Flyers, like I said, out in uh, Semi Valley, California. And uh, But here's the thing. Uh, there's actually but wait there's more <laughs> but wait there's more. i love that <laughs> that's how you do it there's there's actually a little bit more to talk about here because there's a little piece of little aviation history on board uh ingenuity when i say a little piece i do mean a little piece um so everybody knows the very first aircraft to fly on the planet earth was the right flyer one well, they have taken a small piece of that Wright Flyer 1 and put it on board with Ingenuity. So there's going to be a little piece of aviation history. The first aircraft to fly on Earth, a piece of it's going to be on the first aircraft to fly on planet Mars. How freaking cool is that? Well, I might add an addendum. I think it's the first powered flight. I, I think oh. that's what it is. But not to not to bust your thunder there, because that's absolutely oh. amazing. I mean, there this little little piece of capped on tape, a little piece of the right flyer, they stick it to the solar panel and they send it off to Mars, you know. And I that is just so cool. Whoever came up with that, if I hope you're listening. I hope you're one of our viewers. But that was <laughs> a wonderful idea. It's a is just amazing that they're doing that. Is genius. Um, if you guys want to learn more and follow along uh, with the the uh, stories and the news about uh, not just per, uh, perseverance but ingenuity as well, uh, head over to mars.nasa.gov slash mars2020. Um, I know, Lee, you, you're you following on a daily basis on the things that are going on. They are releasing. <laughs> I might have to push pause here and go check and then get back to you. Cause I have yeah. literally been hitting refresh. I don't know if we have the photo up on, on our collection here, but yesterday I sent a, a photo to the group and I think, I know Matt <laughs> appreciated, but there's uh, I guess it was last night. They had a picture of ingenuity with all four legs extended and we're yes. this close from uh, perseverance from plopping it down on the Mars surface. And that is a huge step because as I, as I mentioned to my buddies earlier, you know, this is, this is like a mama bird kicking the baby bird out of the nest and saying, good luck mm -hmm. because there's no going <laughs> back. There's no, it can't go anywhere. Once they drop it, they drive away from it and you, you just see ingenuity all by itself. In fact, yeah. I wrote down here th something that you might find interesting. There's a little checklist 
that was on the website. And it's got about 10 items. We're only up to three. I mean, they've done two. They're only at three. But here are the first ones. You have to survive the launch and you have to land on the red planet. Okay, check. You have to unlock yeah. and unfold it from its stowed position. Check. Drop it on Mars. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the drop on Mars. And then hopefully after that, it actually sits still for quite a while, a couple of days, in fact, while they let it charge its battery. Because right now, the solar panels, I mean, it's I'm, it might be charged through perseverance through like a cord or something i don't know that but it, once it's dropped it'll go out in the sun and then they'll monitor it for several days and so hopefully by next week oh there's that picture it's sideways but you can kind of get it. it's just it's hanging there it's probably saying don't drop me but we're, we're gonna let go of it soon and who knows matt while you and i are talking right now it could be sitting there on its way to having its own solo flight amazing God, it's, just, it's so amazing like the, the things we've been able to accomplish in something like this is just in, incredible to me. And uh, something, as, as you mentioned, it's going to sit on the surface for, for a little while before it actually takes its maiden flight. Uh, right now, they're saying is it that flight is scheduled no earlier than April 11th. So we've got a little bit of time before that flight happens. And of course, that date may kind of fluctuate as well. Uh, as conditions change and, and all those sorts of things. But uh, we'll, again, when, he, Matt and I will keep you posted. <laughs> yeah. Sure. When, when it flies, we're going to let you know about it. Um, God, it's just, so, it's so cool. And I'm so excited that we've had uh, uh, not just one, but it looks like several AMA members taking part in making that uh, a reality. So congratulations to you guys. And, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to follow along with everybody else. Well, Guys, we're going to take a short break. Uh, we're going to come right back with our iFly AMA segment. So stick around. We'll be back in just 30 short seconds. Said, are you ready? Are you ready for a fly I think I'm ready. I think okay, I'm ready. Right. Are you are you ready? Because I know I'm ready. Okay. Hope you watching are ready. Because it's time for iFly AMA. It's that part of the show where we get to talk about the things we found in the iFly AMA Facebook group. Uh, if you guys have not yet joined, now's the time to do so. Facebook.com slash groups slash iFly AMA. Come join the conversation. Just answer a couple of quick questions and uh, we'll accept you into the group. And we have so much cool content there. And the great part about it is all that content comes from you guys. This is stuff that you have going on, all the cool projects you've got going on in your garage or in your build area. Um, I'm just so excited to see all of that stuff. Uh, Lee, I know you've been uh, a part of the group and been active in there for a while. Um, well, you mean before the job? Before, yes, before the job. <laughs> okay. Before yeah. the job. I was going to say, I was going to let people know that I am officially the moderator of the iFly AMA page. And it's, it's, Neat, because I it's a place I go to normally before I worked here, and now I get to sit there and get the alerts right away. Yeah, it's it's so cool, and there have been some really great stuff in there lately. And uh, I know as the the temperatures start warming up outside, even though we had snow on the ground here in Muncie this morning, go figure. But it, <laughs> it's I promise it's almost spring. I think um, we're going to be seeing so many more amazing pictures, videos, stories, you name it. Uh, so I'm excited about it. But let's jump into it because I think you and I have both found a, a, a story or two that we want to share. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go first. I'm going to let Lee uh, back clean up here um, <laughs> because I want to share these uh, this uh, project that was been, it's been posted here in the group. It's been posted over a few different posts, but I just picked one that uh, had some some really cool photos that you could see to really get a sense of what's happening. Uh, this is from Jeremy Phillips. Uh, he has been putting some LED lights on his uh, mini apprentice, and uh, boy, does this thing look amazing. I'm a sucker for LED lights. I really am. 
And this, this is just a, a cool project that he's got going on. And he's put some really detailed images and stuff throughout this. He says he's only in for about three to four dollars on this, which makes it even better because you know, I don't like spending a lot of money. Three or four bucks, I can do that to put some LEDs on my airplane, though. Well, here's some more LED bling for you. It's funny that you that's your favorite pick because uh, I just ordered a whole bunch of of LED strips for a couple of uh, foamy airplanes I'm building for night flyers. Nice. So this will go into it's, some planes soon. It's such a it's such an easy, simple touch that you can put to an airplane. You know, if it's an airplane, you're not worried about being uh, being scale, and it's just something that's you know that you <laughs> yeah. you like to put up in the in the sky in the sky to fly around and uh, and have some fun with. This is a really cool way to to really uh to trick out your airplane and make it look super cool so uh thank you jeremy for sharing that on the uh, ifly ama facebook group uh, i'm going to be following your progress on that very very closely because i think that is a pretty cool project uh lee how about you what did what did you find that you wanted to share with us well i was scrolling through and i saw this really cool photo and it's just it's perfectly composed the color is just right and it just caught my eye and I said to myself, Ooh. this is one of the best photos I've ever seen. See, it's got a depth of field. It's got a prop turning and, oh crap, it's mine. I, I, can't, I now, can't use that one. Now, Lee, <laughs> you it. can't share your own posts on the <laughs> iFly AMA segment. But, Come but, on. But it's, uh, <laughs> I, I, this is a shout out to my buddy, Joe Vermillion. He has been posting really cool photos in iFly MA, and it's just shunning all of us who are also photographers because he just <laughs> he posts them like every day. And so this was my and little return to him. And in fact, one time he he posted a sop with camel, and I had another sop with camel. So I remember in the comments section, I was like, I challenge your sop with my my sop with, and, and I think some <laughs> other people chimed in too. And it's that kind of camaraderie in the iFly AMA page where we we do that. Uh, and this is our buddy Joe Vermillion. He's sharing actually a Balsa USA airplane here. I. I think this color scheme is so cool. This black and purple, it's really done well. And I know that's one of their, their, you know, popular kits. So isn't that cool looking? That is a really sweet looking airplane. I, you're right. I, uh, that, that trim scheme is excellent. I like it. Yeah, and I apologize. I don't know who actually designed it. I just saw that Joe had shared it. So I really mm -hmm. probably need to read the comments and, and do give the right credit to it. But that is so cool. Yeah, very I, nicely done. It, that guy, and it's that guy. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> I love it. That's what I said. I was just like that. Look at that. That is so cool. And that isn't that amazing. And it's and it's different too. And that's the th the thing. I love people. I love it when people do something just a little bit different that you don't see all the time. Like, yeah, you know, I, I look, I'm the first one to tell you, I love a cool scale aircraft. I, I love, uh, you know, something that's historically accurate, all that fun stuff. But man, when somebody takes a little creativity and, and, and puts that into their, 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 the paint job on their airplane, I'm, I'm into it. Yeah, I'm I'm a sport flyer. I'm not a scale flyer. I mean, I I'm pretty good at monocoding. I have been complimented on that before, uh, but uh, you know, I just like to fly. I just want to make sure they get up there and they fly and they come down in one piece. So right, that I mean, after all, that is the important thing, right? <laughs> yeah, Joe does post a lot for sure, and you guys are welcome <laughs> to challenge him on that. I mean, I'm glad he does, and he posts wonderful photos. And just a reminder, Joe, you can't win model of the month. Okay. Just, you can't you can't get the photo of anymore. You're, you're done. You've already won. You've already won. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he was the and inaugural winner. Luckily, Lee, you've already won before too because you've kind of lost your eligibility now that you're an employee. <laughs> I did, but that's okay. I I like sharing that photo. It's an F uh, F eighty two uh, twin Mustang, and it's uh, it was a friend of mine, uh, Randy. I think he sold it, but it's just a beautiful flying airplane. Two top flight P fifty ones tied together. Uh, but I was in oh, another wow. airplane. I don't know if my buddy is going to post it or not, but there is one airplane that I submitted that just, it, it means a lot to me. And I'm going to wait for a few seconds and then see if I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, I am. But for anybody out there who don't, who doesn't know who I am and you might see it behind me, but I am a huge P38 fan. Oh, my buddy's back. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. <laughs> I got to tell you guys, uh, this is a great time to chat, or maybe this is another topic we'll bring up in one of our social media, but like what is on your bucket list? Maybe that hashtag AMA bucket list. Uh, I'm a huge P38 fan. I've got, I think eight now, different sizes and variety, but the one that that's missing is a giant scale P38. And this right here is about as close as I can get to what I want, a yellow aircraft P38 Lightning. And that's just cool. That's every time I yeah. see a P38, I stop and 
I suck it all in and I love, I love all the stories and I'm not a great scholar of the P38. I mean, I know, I know they have Allison engines. There you go. And I couldn't tell you every model, but I think the J and the L are probably the most popular. Okay. I'll stop there, but it is, it is such a cool aircraft. And uh, every time I get to see one, it's amazing. And wonderful thing is uh, at air venture in the EAA museum is a beautiful replica of Marge, which was uh, Richard Bong's uh, P38 from world war two. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's the epitome of cool right there. That is just an amazing uh, aircraft and I uh, appreciate the uh, the photo there from, it looks like Stan Alexander shared that on, uh, uh, who, who who also posts quite, quite a number of amazing photographs uh, in the iFly AMA Facebook group as well. Can I, so, yeah, I'm going to tack onto that. Stan, I'm going to, I'm so glad you mentioned that, Matt, and you brought Stan's name out. Stan, I have been liking a lot of your photos, not as the social media manager, but as a pilot. And I will tell you what, what I really like are the photos that you're sharing with your family, you know, getting into the hobby or the kids are on your planes. That's, that's neat. I, I'm glad that you, we see people, you know, showing that aspect, whole family get together than just pictures of airplanes. And please stop sending Absolutely. crash pictures of airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? That's the uh, photo oh, I got nice. for iFly AMA, and uh, that's a that's an awesome awesome airplane. It sounds good too. I have some videos on YouTube. Y'all can go look. Um, but yeah, Stan, thanks for sharing that. And folks who keep showing crashed airplanes, eh, it's it's okay. One guy, well, I there was one guy who posted. I, I got to share this one. I don't. I'm not going to make Dylan look for it. But in uh, I fly, maybe someone posted a picture of an airplane in the trees. And I I mentioned I'm not sure if it's in there, but it says like half the job is finding your airplane in the trees. So he's, he's halfway there to to retrieve his airplane. So those are half is the other half is <laughs> getting it out. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. So. It was well, a good, it's good collections of airplanes. Well, speaking of air, aircraft and airplane photos, uh, it is time, you guys. Uh, it is that is the first episode of the month, and it's time to talk about the cover photo contest for the month of April because, guys, we have a winner. We have a brand new photo that's going to be put up to the cover photo for iFly AMA Facebook group uh, throughout the month of April. And, Please be a P38. Uh, Please be a P38. <laughs> We're gonna get, I, I wish I had a drum roll. I have, I, I'm gonna have to cue up a drum roll uh, sound for us for the next episode or next time we do this because I always miss it. Uh, but here we have our winner for the month of April. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love my crew. This is awesome. I think I feel like I just got <laughs> April fooled. <laughs> it was good. Oh man, well. But that's the photo that's, I was telling you about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dylan got Dylan. We, we talked before the show about how sometimes Dylan will do some things to, uh, to break me and he just broke me. Good job. That was good. Pre All right. I appreciate it. But no, for real, we do have an actual winner uh, for the iFly AMA Facebook cover photo contest. And the winner is Mr. Kevin Garland. He uh, is actually, I think he's the president, I believe of the Tucson radio club. Uh, he has this amazing photograph of these two jets uh, sitting out on the runway. Man, the lighting is oh, wow, perfect. It I is. Just, I am. I I love this picture. I'm I'm very impressed by it. Um, Lee, I know you're a sucker for good pictures too. I know you got to be impressed by this as well. I, I am impressed. And you know what? I, I know it's April Fool's, but I'm just like, I hope this is his photo, <laughs> you know? And if it is, I need to, <laughs> I need to get a picture of this on my wall or something. It is a very well exposed okay. photo. I mean, just look at all the details yeah. in the background. It's amazing. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's, Good job. Yep. So wonderful. Uh, again, congratulations uh, to Kevin Garland. Uh, we did get confirmation. Yes, he is uh, president of the uh, Tucson Radio Control Club. So, um, again, congratulations, Kevin Garland. You are the winner of the April cover photo contest for iFly AMA. Uh, nice. We're going to get your photo up on the cover photo here in uh, uh, sometime later today. And, uh, guys, now's the time to start thinking about it. The next cover photo contest is going to start in just two short weeks. So when we get to the next episode of AMA Air, we're going to launch that next uh, contest for the month of May. I was like, oh my, where is this year going? Okay, so that's going to launch uh, on again on the next episode of AMA Air. So get your photos ready and uh, get them all nice and shiny and, and edited and cropped the way you like them. And you can become next month's winner 
of the cover photo contest. And if they're a P38, you'll get an extra vote from me. Oh, see, <laughs> no now, pressure, no pressure, <laughs> no pressure. Oh no. See, I'm, if, be if, good. If, uh, I'm gonna be fair. I'm trying to think if 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 I see a TBS Avenger in there somewhere, I'm, that oh. that might be one that could garner uh, garner some favoritism for me. I don't know. Um, well, let's uh, switch gears a little bit because uh, we always try to talk about the AMA's Club of the Month uh, on this first episode of each month, and it is time to announce the April uh, Club of the Month. Kind of take these. We got one contest, one kind of club of the month thing, kind of lock them together here. So uh, the April club of the month announcement is time for that. And this month uh, we are going to be celebrating the Longmont Electric Aircraft Flyers of Longmont, Colorado. Uh, they are the Leaf. April club of the month, also known as LEAF. That is correct. LEAF RC. Uh, they were founded in 2003 by hobbyists in the community wanting a safe and legal place to fly. By leasing several acres of land from the city, LEAF opened its doors. They've been growing ever since. With more than 100 members, LEAF is known for their friendly and open environment to visitors, welcoming all who visit the club field. New members are welcomed and encouraged to grow at their own pace, and there's always someone around to answer a question or help fix an aircraft, whether it be an EDF jet, glider, 3D sport plane, or FPV quadcopter. All electric disciplines are welcome. LEAF has been an AMA Gold Leader Club for many years. They hold monthly introductory flight events for the public to learn about the hobby, as well as Buddy Box on trainer aircraft, and they raise thousands of dollars every year for local charities thanks to their many fun fly events. I want to thank and congratulate the Longmont Electric Aircraft Flyers of Longmont, Colorado for being named April's Club of the Month. Congratulations. And of course, you guys can head over to modelaircraft.org slash clubs to learn more. And uh, we've got links to the LEAF website and their social media accounts as well. Uh, and stay tuned to AMA social media accounts all throughout the month of April. Where we're going to be talking about uh, the uh, the LEAF RC club uh, throughout the month. And we'll, we'll also be bringing a, a representative of theirs to the AMA podcast as well. So be on the lookout for that. They write my so, work down. I got homework. You get on that. that that's your homework. <laughs> oh, and and something else I do want to I want to mention because we haven't mentioned it in a while is if you guys have you know a local club that you belong to or, or or another local club that you or is in your area that you think might be a good candidate to be named a club of the month, uh, there's actually a place you can go to submit the that club information to us. You can go to modelaircraft.org/club-submit. Uh, that's where you can go to submit. Uh, you can fill out a little form and, and submits that club to us, and uh, we can put that on our radar to, to give them uh, a little look-see as we uh, continue to look through our clubs to find prime examples of amazing clubs that we have all over the country. Again, that's modelaircraft.org slash club dash submit. You see it there on your screen. Uh, so be sure to uh, head over there to check that out. Uh Lee, have, did you ever get a chance to go to the Toledo RC show? I am sad to say I, I did not, but I have a mm -hmm. couple of good friends, kind of like when we were talking about uh, Oshkosh mm -hmm. Air Ventures, who go all the time. I have some friends here that are so sad that it is no more. There, there's a lot of us that are. I, I had some amazing experience uh, at that show. Uh, and unfortunately, the Toledo RC show uh, decided to close its doors after la uh, last year. Um, but the, there is some some silver lining. There is a, uh, a show that has decided to kind of fill in that gap for that weekend, uh, and that weekend is coming up soon. Uh, so we guys wanted to let you guys give you a reminder about it is the Toledo RC Swap Meet. Uh, you can go to ToledoRCSwapMeet.com. You see that on your seven screen. Seven days. Uh, that's right. Coming up in just seven short, short days, April 9th through the 10th. Uh, 2021. It's actually at the same location that the uh, the old show was at at the Seagate Center. Um, so be sure to go check out that website if you guys are interested in, in attending that uh, swap meet. I think uh, that would be an awesome place to go check out. Uh, I'm sure they're going to have a lot of really cool stuff there to, uh, to, to see. So Again, ToledoRCSwapMeet.com. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in as social media manager. If you do go 
Would you please jump on uh, iFly AMA and share your stories and your purchases Absolutely. and your swaps? And I, I don't know, we'll say AMA Toledo uh, reporter. <laughs> so I'm making this up as I go. But we'll, maybe we'll make that the hashtag. But no, if you were to go to the iFly AMA uh, Facebook page, uh, that would be awesome. I'd like to follow. I'm unavailable to go and I can't go. So I'd love to, you know, live vicariously through some of my friends who are going to check it out and, you know, see what kind of deals there are. Cause I, you know, as many others hope that this is something that will also continue and maybe mm -hmm. have another 50, 60 years to run. Yeah, absolutely. I, and and I, I totally echo what you said. I, I really hope uh, you guys, the guys, those of you that do get to go, share what you what you see share the things you find and um because i think we'd all like to to see how that how that event goes and i i like you hope to see that continue on for years and years to come so uh again go check that out at toledo rc swap uh we do have an update on our uh, takeoff and grow grants and our flying site uh, improvement grants boy that's a mouthful isn't it it is uh, thank god you had to say it not me <laughs> Right. The uh, uh, both the takeoff and grow or tag grant and the flying site improvement grants, uh, they've been reviewed by their corresponding judging committees. All applications are now being compiled and they are in the next phase of the process. So the AMA Executive Council uh, will then approve the final results. Uh, before they're publicly shared and individual clubs are notified of the results. Uh, here's the good news for you guys. Clubs should expect to hear whether they are a grant recipient at the beginning of May. So just about in about a month or so, you guys will find out uh, if you were awarded one of those grants. Uh, so good luck to all of you uh, that uh, applied for those. And uh, uh, we will be sure to let you know here again, like I said, just in uh, about a month or so, we'll, uh, we'll know more. And finally, uh, to wrap the show up, we've got Nat's registration. Um, is It's wide open right now, guys. So if you have not yet registered for the Nats, now's the time to do so. Head over to modelaircraft.org slash Nats. Uh, we've got schedule up there. We've got uh, all the events that you can can register for. They're, they're all there for you guys. Uh, again, modelaircraft.org slash Nats. If you have uh, never competed before, and you're looking to compete this year, uh, we've got a special offer for you guys as well. Uh, first time Nats competitors, we're going to be uh, knocking off some of those registration fees. Uh, we've got a special code for you guys to use. That is FLYINNT20. Uh, you see it there on your screen. If you've never competed at the Nats before, use that code and you will get some of those registration fees knocked off for you. Uh, $50. So $50. $50 that's a registration fee code. Guys, that's a $50 code. You don't you don't yes. get codes like that all the time. So if you want to go to Nats and participate, don't forget that code. And as your social media manager, I'm going to be working hard the next few weeks to start pushing more Nats information out there. I have uh, released some earlier this week, but that code is very important. So we're going to make sure we let everybody know. And unfortunately, as someone who's never been to Nats, and that makes me sad, my father and I always talked about it to go for soaring. And uh, we actually uh, have talked to someone who uh, has been many years and I, he's, he's making me want to go. <laughs> it's like, Oh my God, stop talking about it. But I, I, you know, I would love to go to this, but you know, you got from June through July and I, well actually through through in August too, because the soaring is in August, but mm -hmm. the indoor event is going to be held in Pontiac, Michigan. And I forget the name. I'm sorry. I didn't have that on my notes right here but it's a huge facility there. So uh, when we have more information and when I get it out there, go check a look at our social media links and I'll be posting all about the indoor events. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a real fun time this summer. I know a lot of folks didn't get to come out last year and they're going to be uh, really excited to get back out and, and get back into the groove of things this year. Uh, again, modelaircraft.org slash Nats is the place to go for more information. And uh, again, it's it, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys out there. It's going to be a, a great time. Well, I'm Lee, looking forward to seeing your photos, Matt. I don't know if a lot of people well, know that, but a lot, a lot of pictures that we use for the Nats promos are yours and they are excellent. So I want to give a little shout out to you, Matt, because you are a very good photographer. And uh, if I find a way, I will try to put together some of your galleries, maybe from last year and uh, let people see those because it's a neat and I'll tell you, I felt like I was part of the event, you know, with, with seeing all the different uh, classes and categories. 
Well, I, I appreciate that, Lee. That, that's that's very kind of you to say. You know, we we uh, there were a lot of challenges last year, obviously with the pandemic going on, and uh, we we took a lot of precautions, but we still wanted to make sure we got some good photos for you guys, and uh, we got those you know captured and and shared out over the course of the summer. And uh, yeah, I think we could probably come up with some some cool photo galleries for you guys to check out. Um, if you guys want to see more of the photos that Look we produce Dylan. here, on, he's I on see the it here. Today. It comes out there. It's <laughs> awesome. We, if you guys have never checked out our Flickr gallery, I encourage you to do so. Flickr.com slash model aircraft right there on the screen. Um, we have that's what I meant photo to say. galleries. <laughs> for, we, we have photo galleries for days, guys, and uh, some of them are stuff that I've shot. A lot of it is stuff that I've shot, but we've got a couple of other really great photographers here on staff that. Uh, take honestly some of them volunteer their time and some of them also do it for our magazine as well um to capture some amazing photography uh so if you if you ever have some time to waste there's plenty of things to see there on that Flickr gallery so be sure to go check that out and uh, here's what i'm going to do right now guys as your social media manager i don't know how long i can keep that up but i will <laughs> just because i feel like it and I think I can get away with it. I am going to, after this wonderful show, I'm going to go out and I'm going to make a post just for this. I shared as much as possible. And I even I'll share on the iFly AMA, not just our Academy of Modern Aeronautics. And I'd love for you guys to uh, respond and especially give kudos out to the photographers of the pictures you like the most. You know, give those hearts. Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. As as a photographer myself, I love it when people post beautiful photos. So i um, anxious to see those. Well, guys, uh, that wraps up our show today. I want to thank you so much for watching today. We've had a great time. Lee, I've had an amazing time with you today. I know this is this is not your first time on AMA Air. I've been watching. I saw what you did. Um, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Robert, for your nice comment. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. No, that, that was wasn't that my was, April uh, Fool's joke. That was all Dylan. I was being as cordial as possible to you. Possible to you. <laughs> <laughs> But, but I had, uh, a, I, I'm just going to interject. I had a great time too, Matt. This is the first time you and I've really worked together. And I'll tell you, just knowing you from the work and seeing your shows, uh, it's very relaxing. It's very entertaining. And I hope that we get a chance to do this more often. Absolutely. Well, I, again, I invite you back anytime, uh, anytime you want to be on the show, you have an open invite. Uh, and, uh, I think the folks watching, it seems like in the comments, everybody's enjoyed the show. So that's awesome. If you guys have enjoyed the show, I would encourage you to do all the things that they tell you to do the like the comments, the sharing, the subscribing, all of those fun things down below, hit that notification bell too. I think the kids tell you to do that too. That, is that right, Lee? Is that what they tell you to do? Hit the notification bell. Kind of a notification bell. Absolutely hit the notification bell. And uh, sorry, what kind of hashtag can I come up for April Fool's? Hashtag Lee Ray, <laughs> AMA rocks. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something. Well, you know what? Just throw your best hashtag out of your thoughts on this show. Hopefully they're your, your kids safe. I hope we didn't there offend anybody. Uh, and yes. we'll just enjoy the comments. But guys, thank you so much for uh, watching the show. We really had a <laughs> there's our first one there's our first one uh what a blast what a blast and if anything else uh, go out and have a great time flying your your model airplanes absolutely and guys if uh, if you are not yet a member of the ama i i hope you guys go check out modelaircraft.org slash join take a look and see what the ama can do for you guys and and listen if you are already a member we thank you so much uh for your support and uh, again, as Lee said, I hope you guys get some some flight time this weekend. I know I'm going to try to get some. And uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time right here on another episode of AMA Air. See you later. <laughs>